Hello, hello, hello. Today is September 21, 2021. <laughs> yeah. You see here my backyard and my pond, if you can recognize my pond. And I'm showing this to you because early morning it is now near six o'clock. There is often such a beautiful fog on the pond. I see two dogs there, but you may not be able to see them. Tomorrow, the 22nd, is the fall equinox of the Northern Hemisphere, the spring equinox of the Southern Hemisphere. Still some late roses. I think I can make you see that. Two ducks. Okay, now we're going to talk more about the equinox. Tomorrow, September 22nd, is the vernal equinox. That means the sun is then at zero degrees declination. The exact time is 7.21 p.m. universal time, which is 3.21 p.m. in New York City. And it is 12.21 a.m. September 23 in India. It's called the Autumn Equinox for the Northern Hemisphere. And it is called the Spring Equinox for the Southern Hemisphere. What is special about that day is that everywhere on Earth the Sun is 12 degrees above the horizon and 12 degrees below the horizon. And everywhere on Earth the sun rises exactly in the east and it sets exactly in the west. Near 12 noon, local time, the angle that the sun is above the horizon is 90 degrees minus the value of your latitude. That means towns on the equator near 12 noon the sun will be 90 degrees above the horizon. That means in the zenith. New York City, which has a latitude of plus 41 degrees, the sun at near noon will be 49 degrees above the horizon. New Delhi, it will be 61 degrees above the horizon. Sydney, it will be 56 degrees above the horizon. At the poles, the sun will be zero degrees above the horizon. 90 degrees minus 90. Of course, what that means is that at the poles, North and South Pole, the sun will be near the horizon. In Bangalore, which is further south than New Delhi, 16 degrees further south, 
Near 12 noon, the sun will be approximately 77 degrees above the horizon. The December equinox, when the sun will be at a declination of minus 23 degrees, that will be on December 21. I didn't check the exact time, you can look that up. So near 12 noon, it would mean that all towns at a latitude of minus 23 degrees would see the sun in the zenith. But of course there may not be any towns at minus 23 degrees latitude on Earth. Sydney is at a latitude of 34.5, which is only 11 degrees from minus 23, so the sun will only be 11 degrees from the zenith near 12 noon, which is 79 degrees above the horizon. In New York City, the sun will then be 26 degrees above the horizon near 12 noon. Imagine, only 26 degrees above the horizon near December 21. Near June 21 in New York City, when the declination of the sun is plus 23 degrees, near 12 noon the sun will be 72 degrees above the horizon. To compare the situation again with New Delhi, on December 21, Near 12 noon, the sun will be about 35 degrees above the horizon. In Bangalore, 54 degrees. At the North Pole, the sun will be 23 degrees below the horizon. And at the South Pole, 23 degrees above the horizon. And keep in mind, on the North Pole, the sun will be six months below the horizon. On the North Pole. That starts on September 21, 22, and it ends in March. In the South Pole, the sun will be six months above the horizon and that starts today and that will end March 21. So the North Pole has six months darkness and six months light and the same is true for the South Pole. What I would like you to do if you have clear skies on the 22nd or in the other 23rd but that makes no difference measure the angle at which the sun is above the horizon near 12 noon and if you can measure that accurately you can calculate your latitude <laughs> alternatively if you know if you look up your latitude you can predict what that angle will be. And I propose you send me on my YouTube channel your measurement and then also send me your latitude. Have a nice day. Take care. Even if it is cloudy for you <laughs> tomorrow and the 23rd we will still be friends and of course if you make those measurements on the 24th or the 25th of September 
they will not be very, very different. <laughs> I hope you understand that. So if you can't do it on the 22nd and on the 23rd, do it on the 24th or the 25th, but by all means, let me know what the angle was that you measured near 12 noon, and let me also know your latitude. <laughs>